Hello friends, Ben here for Giant Loop. I'm out here moto camping on my Yamaha Tenere 700. I'm rocking the Moto Trek panniers. I've got my Giant Loop Tillamook dry bag here on the top and a couple of possibles pouches on the back, plus my Fandango tank bag. And I wanna show you just how much gear you can pack in these bags for motorcycle camping. First off, up here up front is the Fandango tank bag. It's all filming gear. So if you were not filming YouTube videos all the time like I am, you could make use of this space, but I'm only using it for filming gear and flashlights. There's some flashlights in here. But Fandango's a great option, zips off to fill up your gas and all of that. So if you had this set up, you'd have eight more liters of storage than I have. But let's just move back. So I wanna show you, I've got Mototrek panniers. These Mototrek panniers are 25 liters a side. I have them on our Giant Loop quick release pannier mounts. It's quick and easy to take them on and off the bike. I just took it off, I put it back on, just like that. And I would run a strap up over the top just for stability, but it is on there. I love those things. So Moto Trek panniers, quick release pannier mounts, Tillamook dry bag. I just wanna show you just how much gear I brought with me. And I'm a notorious overpacker. I bring way too much stuff for motorcycle camping. You're gonna say that in the comments and that's fine, but I want you to see just how much stuff goes into these bags. So let's start with the right side, Moto Trek Pannier. This is a fully waterproof bag. It's got a roll top design. You don't need any inner liners or anything else with this. It's got a Velcro closure here at the top. All right, here we go. This is my cooking kit. There's a plastic plate. I've got my Sea to Summit X-Pot and a little bit of seasoning, salt and pepper and stuff in there. So that's a good size kit in a, uh, this is just a Coglin's mesh bag. This is my toiletries bag, contact solution, toothbrush, stuff like that, glasses, all that. This is my grill. We're making brats tonight. So I got a grill down inside there. We're gonna grill right over the fire with this. Exciting. Um, this is my big possibles pouch. I actually have a video on this, which I'll link for you, but this is the bag I take with me on every trip. It's got my headlamp, my knife, my coffee stuff, my toilet paper, cup, wet wipes, my tent lamp, fire starting stuff. This is my camping essentials bag, and it's pretty big as you can see. And like I said, I have a video you can check out, but that's in this side. Fuel for my jet boil in this side. My jet boil is in this side. This is for making coffee in the morning. And also if you're cooking dehydrated meals, it's nice to have. I got Silky Gomboy. This is for processing firewood. And also if there's a tree down across the road, it's nice to be able to cut it down. Got my bear spray. Can't go out in the woods without my bear spray. It works on bears and also not bears. That's exciting. That's it for the right side pannier. As you can see, cavernous in there. And then the only other thing to note on this side is on the back, I have the giant loop. This is a possibles pouch. This is our first aid possibles pouch. And inside is my survive wear first aid kit. So that is inside here. I'm not going to take it out. It's just a first aid kit, but these possibles pouches can be attached to the front and the back of the Moto Trek panniers. And you gain yourself four liters. Every time you add one, you can add up to four. Let's talk about what's in the middle. So this is my Tillamook dry bag. This is a 48 liter dry bag. It opens at both ends and straps directly to the bike with you can see these straps that mount it to the bike. So it's basically a top case for the rear of your bike, but it's soft. It comes off, it can be converted into a backpack. I use this every time I go camping, whether I'm on my bike or not, because it's a great way to carry a lot of gear. It's very rugged, has a ton of storage and it's waterproof. Um, but if you're using it on a motorcycle, you don't have to remove it to get into it. As you can see, I'm just gonna unroll the one side where it was waterproof. Let's take out everything that's in this side. Okay, this is the jacket, my, uh, Scorpion XO jacket on the ground. Nemo Philo pillow. I'm not actually rocking a sleeping bag this time. This is my enlightened equipment quilt, which is my sleeping bag for this trip. Uh, as you can see, it packs down a little bit smaller than a sleeping bag, but looking forward to using that. That is a pump that blows up my air mattress. Electric, rechargeable. Sea to Summit Eros pillow. <laughs> this thing's fun. It is an electric rechargeable thermocell. It'll establish a perimeter where bugs can't come in. It'll drive them off, so it's bug repellent. This is nice to have. Uh, I've only ever used the gas-powered ones before, so I'm excited to give this rechargeable one a try. Uh, my table. This is my little side table that I use every time I'm camping. I also have my Tusk camp chair in here. I've taken it out because we were sitting on them, but there it is. Also in this bag, this is a Forest Axe, a Holt to Forest Forest Axe. Not full size, but not a hatchet either. I also have the world's largest sleeping pad. This is my 
Big Agnes Q Cord Deluxe, a 30 by 78. I don't actually need one this big, but I ended up with it and I'm not unhappy with it. This is the size of a twin bed, I swear to God. But it's huge. Uh, what else is in here? Dang, we'll just keep going. Get out gear. This is a puffy blanket uh, that also turns into a poncho. It's down blanket. So this is just my spare blanket in case it gets cold. Like I said, I bring a lot of extra stuff. Okay, that's it for inside the bag. And then on top here, this is my Sea to Summit four liter pack tap. Some people know it as the Pacific Northwest Green Manta Ray. And I've just attached it to the D-rings here on top of the Tillamook bag with a giant loop cinch strap. And these are the straps. They're not expensive, they, they're very long. So they're useful for attaching things to something super wide like this. Um, they're the ones we recommend if you're using an armadillo bag to uh, the three or five gallon armadillo bags to attach them to whatever, but these straps are inexpensive. They're awesome. So now we're gonna do the other side. Let me show you what else I've got in here. I'm undoing the top. I've got one more pan here to empty out. Worth mentioning, I have a possibles pouch on the back of this Moto Trek as well. It just has my toolkit in it. So I'm not gonna take my toolkit out, but I have one with a toolkit in it on the back. Okay, what else is in here? Pistachios, it's important, snack foods. Cigars, can't go wrong with that. It's camping after all. Uh, this is my tent. So this is my Big Agnes Tiger Wall UL2. It's a bike packing tent, so it's very small as you can see, but it's down in that pan here. Put it over there with his friends. Um, oh, beverages. Beverages are important. And then honestly, on this side, the only other thing I have is large. So this is my tire changing kit. There's a tube in here. There's a uh, CO2 inflator in here. I've got a bunch of wrenches, tire irons, everything else. So I take this with me always. It's got every wrench I need to make a, a do a tire change here on the Tenere, and also just a bunch of random wrenches that are common. So I've got the Allen keys you'd need to adjust the hand guards. I've got the ones I need to adjust the handlebars, all that stuff. So this is my big tool kit with my tire changing kit in it, and it takes up a lot of space on this side. Oh, and the other thing I had on here was I had my cooler actually strapped to the top of one of these because we give you a lot of slack with these straps, as you can see. So there's plenty of room to strap stuff to the top of the panniers as well. So this is my pile of gear that I brought with me inside these three bags. But between the Moto Trex and the Tillamook dry bag, I've got 100 liters of storage. Everything you need to go moto camping, not just to survive, but to be comfortable. I've got an extra blanket, I've got a chair, i got a table, tent, sleeping pad, sleeping bag all in this setup. So it's a great setup for going moto camping. And the great thing about the Moto Trek panniers is that if they're not full, they're infinitely compressible. So if you don't fill it up all the way, all you have to do is tighten the straps down and the bag just becomes smaller. There's no sort of empty wasted space at all. Your bike is never any wider than it needs to be. But I will link all these bags for you in the description of this video. Uh, check them out if you're looking for a moto camping setup for really any adventure bike, but it works particularly well here on the Tenere. And if you have pannier racks, this is a great setup to go with. All of our products are backed by our limited lifetime warranty and all orders over $75 from giantloopmoto.com ship for free. Please consider subscribing to the channel for other great product overviews and just sort of packing videos, moto camping stuff like this. And don't forget that all YouTube subscribers save 10% on giantloopmoto.com with promo code subscriber. Thank you for watching. Go light, go fast, go far with Giant Loop.